Jaws Jr. here for what you'd think would be an in-shop adventure. Well, I'm starting here, but that's not where the fun is going to be at. Remember, when I was out there digging the white fur thunder eggs, I says, hey, I'm going to take it to a buddy of mine's place to have it cut. Today's the day we're going to go get this thing cut, and I'm going to show every one of you what it looks like inside. So, sit back, enjoy the show, and... I hope this turns out well, because we'll all find out together. Well, I'm here at my buddy's place, and some of you will know who he is. It's the elusive Michael Van Dyke. He's the one who had, does a lot of close-ups of his rocks while he is out either rock hounding or here at his place. So he's the one that's going to do the cutting for me. And what's scary though is that we've got not only one, two, but we've got three rock counters here. And the stories that's going to be told, oh, you better watch out. Better wear boots. Yeah, watch where you step. <laughs> yeah, it is going to get a little deep around here, let me tell you. So, I'm going to introduce you to something else. So. Okay, what we have here is something that would surprise some people. It's Shrek. But... It is actually a 16 inch, 14. 14 inch custom built slab saw. There is probably nothing else like this particular one around. And Mr. Van Dyke decided to buy this off of somebody many years ago. Won't you tell us about this thing? Well, I had a buddy in West Salem and started hanging around him. He had this saw and um, I did a lot of the mechanics on for him because I'm, well, I'm basically a mechanic trained in the Army, but I knew this saw inside and out mechanically and stuff, and then he had it for sale, and I jumped on it, and here it is. I've had it for many years now. I know it inside and out. It's built out of wood. It's got, there's a few things. Works, the light don't work, so I kind of wired it so the light works and everything, but the kit for it is extraordinary. It's never let me down. Screw drive, separate motor for the blade, and then the screw drive's got a, I think a sewing machine motor. Don't need a lot of power for it. And I got a little dome light and stuff. My little window up there, you can see what's cutting. Length of time. What oil do you run in it? Pardon? What oil do you run in it? I run uh, it's coarse laxative from a veterinarian shop. It's it's called ultralight mineral oil, and I get it very cheaply. That's why I burn it. Mineral oil is a really good stuff to run in your saw. The flash point's very low on it. I am looking forward to getting that thunder egg mounted in this thing and seeing the inside of it. Just about stuck that in my mouth. Okay, he'll go there just like that. I'm gonna put him like that. Get him in the place of the right there. Slide him in a little more. Need it. Now, where are these thunder eggs from? Fallen tree? No, this one here is from uh, White Fur. White Fur. This is the public dig area up there? Yeah. You have oh. two areas up there. You have the area that's by the uh, Mount Hood Rock Club that's that's got a claim on, and then this here's the public dig area. That's public dig. Yeah. I usually and go then, up to the Mount Hood area. Yeah, and this is actually above the above the main dig site. Uh -huh. This is in a, in a uh, skid road that comes down into okay, it from the east. We are solid. And right there. Spent many a time there. Never throw your old socks away. Because Michael will still wear them. No, still yes, wear he'll them. still wear them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
That's what happens when you have, you have an old old veteran around here. They're, he's resourceful. Old combat veteran. Okay, engineers. Okay. okay. So the next time we see this one, it should be in two pieces, and you guys are going to see what it's going to look like on the inside. It won't take long, Scott. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, yeah. There's that nice jasper inside. Oh yeah. Real nice. I think we did a good job on selecting the direction to cut it. I think just put it in that bucket, Scott, and we'll clean it all up and we can do some more photography on it. And sometimes on Thunder Eggs, each side will look different. You wouldn't even know it's from the same rock. We'll find like out. Drop it into the kitty I like this one better. Yeah, let's put this one up here above it. Just set it up there. Well, maybe, maybe it's the way it's setting. But... God, you could almost get two light slabs. Yeah. Slab it a quarter inch thick off of each side and have matching on it. Well, I'll tell you what, the twisting and the formation changes and everything, when this was doing this, <laughs> I wouldn't want to bet in that time frame. No. Okay, out in the sunshine, here we go. That is beautiful. take a nice polish. It's going to take a beautiful polish. That's the first place I ever went for Thunder Eggs. Same with me. Yep. I took little James up there and Jacob. James was like five. That's where he learned how to shoot. Yeah. yeah, I have a video for you listeners out there. You can go back and look and you're going to see one of my very first time digging Thunder Eggs and it's actually here at my YouTube channel. I'll try to put the link down below for everybody. Okay, you've seen that one. And, oh yeah, let's admire his um, flower garden, rock garden. That's my junk rocks. This is what he calls his junk rocks, yes. A lot of these he's cut, he didn't like it, so he just tossed out here. But, as a bonus, Whispering Springs Thunder Eggs, remember that spot where we went to? We're going to cut this one. And Michael has already determined the direction it's going to get cut, so stay tuned and you're going to see what this one looks like on the inside as well. Okay, this one is ready. You can see the orientation that he went with it. Now this one here is a heavier egg, so I'm really hoping it's got something in it. You really can't tell from the outside, but I'm hoping it's got something on the inside. Okay, it's time for the reveal of the Whispering Springs. Ah, it's nothing. It's what I was afraid of. Uh, there's a little bit going on in there. The sunlight 
will reveal more than this light will. Natural light's always better. See what the other side does. You can always slab it and make some uh, cabochons. They'd make a pretty cab. Lots make of color. It, there's lots of color in that. Lots of color, lots of character. And it's a solid piece, too. Yeah, so it's, it's never a complete loss. No, but see, this is the, the challenge about uh, digging Thunder Eggs from some places, that you never know what you're going to get. At least it's not a mud ball. This is not a mud ball. It's just like a that's box a of nice chocolates. Little, yep, and that's a nice one. But look at here. You can, you can see There's the stuff going on it. with it. Yeah. yeah, there is stuff going on with it. That'll make some really nice cabs. There's no way we would have survived in this time frame when this mineralization was going on. To that, I like it. That's kind of that's neat. We'll put it in here. That is beautiful. Granted, it's not a thunder egg by definition, but it is a beautiful material. And I think James, you are right. I think it, that needs to be slabbed down in the, in the future. Yeah. Nice little rhyolite bomb. Yep. That is a pretty guy. Look at the colors, the oranges in it. The I'm looking at the golds towards the left. Yep. That's some pretty stuff. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do mine now. Look at all this. Uh, okay, we got something else here. This is something that Michael's cut earlier today before I got here to make sure that Everybody Shrek was working right. So here we go. This is from uh, Central Oregon. Uh, I got a buddy that's got a thunder egg claim over there, and this is on the bottom of the area where he does. He just walks around, picks these agate nodules up, and I, uh, I've gotten quite a few from him. I know what's inside before I even cut it most of the time, and uh, he sends me a couple boxes now and again, and this is what I got out of this cut. That is some beautiful stuff. I like in the moss. Got crystal formations in there, water lines going on. This has got everything an agate wants you to do. Yeah, those are nice water lines. Well, we're going to bring this segment to an end here. The video's getting long, and there's still a lot more to show you in the next video, where we're going to be cutting some serpentine, and there's going to be some more shenanigans going on. But for this part, thank you for watching us cut that thunder egg. Well, actually, both of them. One, hey, pretty, but actually not a true thunder egg. The other one from White Fur, that was pretty cool. Wasn't quite a double, but still very cool in itself. So for now... Be sure to check out the next video. And remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine. Ha, looking at some cool thunder eggs, some cool rocks, cutting a thunder egg, and having some fun with some other fellow rock hounds. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!